It's recording. Okay. Good evening, everyone. I'm going to call the Marion Township Organizational Meeting for January 3rd, 2023 to order. The time is now 7.01 p.m. Our first item is the Pledge of Allegiance. So I'll ask everyone here to please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, at this time, we'll open up the floor to public comments. We have no participants on Zoom and no public comments in the audience. So at this time, um, we'll, we'll need to appoint the temporary chairman for the organizational meeting. Uh, I'll make a motion to appoint myself as the temporary chairman. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay. Next, we'll need to appoint a temporary secretary for the organizational meeting. I'll make a motion for Sue Stabi. Second. <laughs> me, 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 yeah. uh, I'll give it to Irene since Jim would be on there. Uh, roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay. At this time, I declare that all offices are vacant. First item of reappointment is the chairman. Um, you guys want to just have me do it again this year like we did last year? Yes. Okay. I'll make a motion to appoint Peter McCarthy as chairman of the board. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay. Next is vice chairman. Irene, do you want to do that again? Sure. Okay. I'll make a motion to appoint Irene Seleski as vice chairman. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Can I amend that to chair person? Chair, chairwoman. chairwoman. Chair. Yeah. The title. Oh, sorry. Yeah. It's okay. Well, yeah, that's right. So, for what it's worth, there yeah. are plenty of executives that I know that are chairmen, even if they're women. They just use yeah. it as a title. Vice so, chair. Yeah. Vice chair. Chair, also good. Oh, um, well, on the first They're not liberated. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 They're not yeah. very liberated. <laughs> yeah. Uh, next item is the part time secretary. That is. In this position, just for the sake of clarity. No, no, no. There's part time secretary and part time assistant. Part time assistant. Oh, okay. Done Thank you. More. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. So that saved me having to amend that. So I'd like to make a motion to appoint the part time secretary as Sue Stabi. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay. Now it's the part time assistant secretary. I'll make a motion to appoint Linda. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Next is to appoint the part-time treasurer. I'll make a motion to appoint Irene Seleski. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. And then the assistant treasurer. Make a motion to appoint Dan Klein. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay, next is to appoint the roadmaster. Make a motion for Butch to be reappointed. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay, next is the a, a township solicitor. I'll make a motion to reappoint, Kos uh, excuse me, uh, Andy George from Kozlov Stout. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay, next is to appoint the Zoning Hearing Board Solicitor. Last year, it was Attorney Keith Mooney from Barley Snyder. I'll make a motion to reappoint Attorney Keith Mooney from Barley Snyder. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay, next is the financial institution. So I'll make a motion to reappoint uh, Fulton Bank as our financial institution. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Next is to appoint Barbara A. Akins as our CPA uh, accounting advisor and to for uh, and to excuse me, do the financial audit for the year ending December 2022. Uh, I'll make the motion to reappoint. Second. Do you want to say? Uh, okay. I'll make a motion to reappoint Barbara A. Akins from Akins Accounting uh, to perform the financial audit for the year ending December 2022. Every second? Yes. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay. Next is to appoint the engineering firm for the township and planning commissions. Um, this is 
System Design and Engineering. Previously, it was McCarthy Engineering. So I'll make a motion to appoint System Design Engineering Incorporated as the Township Engineer. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Uh, next is to appoint the Wastewater Engineering. No, uh, sorry. Never okay. <laughs> uh, wastewater Engineering uh, Firm, which is Hydroterra. I'll make a motion to reappoint Hydroterra as our wastewater project experts. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Next is to appoint building code officials and code enforcement officers. Um, this is the Craft Code Services, now Craft Municipal Services. Uh, so I'll make a motion to appoint Craft Municipal Services. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay, next is to appoint the zoning officer. This is um, it was previously McCarthy Engineering, now Systems Design. So I'll make a motion to appoint the zoning officer for 2023 as Systems Design Engineering Incorporated. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Next is to appoint the assistant zoning officer. Make a motion to appoint Craft Municipal Services. Second. We'll call Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay, next is to appoint the sewage enforcement officer. Uh, this is in 2022 is Alan Madera from Berks and Virotech. Make a motion to appoint Alan Madera from Berks and Virotech as our sewage enforcement officer. Second. Roll call Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay, next is to appoint the alternate sewage enforcement officers. In 2022, this was Brian Coburn from Berks and Virotech, Seth Bacon from Berks and Virotech, Christopher Path at uh, 127 Quarry Road in Kutztown, and Matthew Mack in uh, Blandon. Uh, I did not call Christopher Path or Matthew Mack. Okay, I think it's probably okay if we just go with the Berks and Virotech folks. They have, they have, a, they have, yeah, mm -hmm. they got plenty of staff. Um, so I'll make a motion to appoint Brian Coburn, Seth Bacon from Berks and Virotech as our alternate sewage enforcement officers. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay. Next is to appoint road crew employees. In 2022, this was Leon Brubaker, Donald Height, Kevin Sadison, Richard Troutman Jr., David Sabi, Tony Brubaker, Ryan Allgaier, Franklin Troutman, Luke Troutman, David Patrick, Travis Oberholzer, Joshua Bellman, John Seleski, Peter McCarthy, Irene Seleski, and James Brooks. Um, Butch, I know you had some people that we were tentatively going to add. We can do that okay, at one of the regular. Let, let me just say, David Patrick never handed in his payroll packet. Okay. I don't think he wants to be bothered. Okay. Um, I don't know if you've ever called him any. No, yeah. Well, Travis Overholzer, the same day. Okay. Um, he went out in the truck one time and that was kind of, he, he doesn't seem real interested. Okay. You know, that was <laughs> the thing that I heard was that he said, well, I'm going to have to check in my life before I can pass him out. And yeah. he can't pass on a Sunday. Well, you can't, it you snows can't, when it snows. Yeah, I was going to say, you can't really, you can't really plan around that. Okay, and we can always add can we make additional. Yeah. <laughs> and then Butch um, has, Derek Moyer has a CDL license. Um, he's willing to help out pretty much just with snow plowing, right? Yeah, yeah, just snow plowing. Randy Moyer. Uh, he, he's just going to help with the, with the co uh, culprit this winter. Okay, and then... Linda's husband and then was a Linda's tentative. husband, David Shock. So that that was a, I don't know how it works to appoint somebody like temporarily. Oh, we can we can always we can thing. we can appoint people at any time of the year for the road crew right. as well. And nothing says that if we put you on the road crew that you have to be there all the time. You could be there for like when you're doing a culvert or whatever. Yeah, that's yeah, well, that's well, fine. Right, right. That's a long way yeah, it's, it's, it's part-time. Everybody has to work around and certain other commitments and things and like said, that. I, I get it. Josh and Bellman handed in a payroll packet. We've never used him. Yeah. Um, I mean, he was invited to the meeting the other Saturday and didn't show up. So, okay. I mean, so let's, we'll appoint him and if, 
if it doesn't pan out, then we take them off. You like, never do works we have a the... limit as to how many employees we have? No, I don't that think. I don't, I don't think so. Okay. Just um, asking that question because I know there was some discussion a couple years ago about. No, I think we get asked on the audits. Also. Yeah, we get asked on the audit, okay. and there's yeah. certain things with. Um, I almost said labor law, but there's um. It's not the insurance. No, 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 no. It's not the insurance. There's some. I'm trying to remember what area of law this falls under, but like um, workplace conduct, sexual harassment, um, oh. things, things like that are. There's a certain threshold yep. where they start yep. being yep. enforced. Yep. 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 Um, otherwise, yep. it's uh, like number of hours and yep. you know time yep. worked and stuff like that. Yep. So we should should be perfectly fine from that standpoint okay. because we had looked, I believe. Two years ago, we had looked at that to make sure there wasn't something weird with the insurance, yeah. until, like when we hire the farmers on temporarily yeah. and things yeah. like that. So yeah. we should be in the clear there. Okay. Um, so what, what I'm going to suggest we do is let's reappoint the core group of knowns. And then for the January meeting, we get a confirmation from Derek, uh, was Derek Moyer, if I heard mm -hmm. correctly, uh, Randy Moyer and uh, David Schunk about if they're going to, as, as needed even, be members of the road crew and then we can well they do want to be oh they, I mean, they, they we have we have confirmed yeah okay perfect uh, yeah. then I'll, right? I'll add them into the motion then yeah i mean randy moyer just wants to do yeah. culverts he doesn't want okay. to call snow yeah and that's that's fine or whole patch or anything like that. yeah both have cdls perfect oh, yeah. yeah great okay so i'll make a motion to appoint leon brubaker Donald Height, Kevin Sadism, yeah. Richard Troutman Jr., David Stobby, Tony Brubaker, Ryan Allgaier, Franklin Troutman, Luke Troutman, Joshua Bellaman, John Seleski, Peter McCarthy, Irene Seleski, James Brooks, Derek Moyer, Randy Moyer, and David Schunk as the road crew for 2023. Okay. Second. Roll we'll call Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay. Next is the Planning Commission appointment. Uh, Mervyn Brubaker, who is the seat that is coming up for renewal, is willing to serve another term. Um, his term expires uh, as of right yeah. now. Mm -hmm. So I'll make a motion to reappoint Mervyn Brubaker on the Planning Commission. Second. We'll call Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay. Next is the Western Berks Planning Commission appointment. We need two members and an alternate. Last year, this was myself and Jim with Irene as the alternate. Um, that worked out pretty well. So I'd suggest we just reappoint myself and Jim as the Planning Commission uh, representatives with Irene as the alternate. Is that a motion? That is a motion. Second. Um, roll call Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay. Next is the zoning hearing board appointment. David Weaver is willing to serve another term. So I'll make a motion to reappoint David Weaver. Second. Roll call Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Next is the Appoint Vacancy Board Chairman. This is a one-year term. It was previously Nancy Carrington, who moved out of the township. Uh, we received interest from both Kelly Cox and Christina Curlin. Um, Christina was kind of if nobody else would do it. So I'll make a motion to appoint Kelly Cox as the Vacancy Board Chairman. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Next is the Emergency Management Coordinator position. Last year, this was John Seleski. He is willing to continue serving in that capacity. So I'll make a motion to appoint John Seleski as the emergency management coordinator. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Epstein. Jim. Aye. Okay. Next is to appoint the right to know records officer and alternative. In 2022, this was uh, Irene as the primary and Jim as the alternate. Um, if there's, <laughs> I hate doing it. Uh, yeah, right to know is, is, yeah, is I hate rough. Doing it. Um, I'm here a lot. Do we want to? We don't get that many. No. Yeah. Not to mention. You're like, jinxing it. Yeah. Um, that's fine. We do have. We have extra hands now for for helping yes, look stuff true. up. Yeah. So yeah. I'll make a motion to appoint Irene Seleski as the right to know officer with Jim Brooks as the alternate. Second. 
Okay, Peter. Irene seconded. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay, next is the liaison appointments. First one is the liaison to the Planning Commission. Last year, this was myself. Make a, uh, a motion to appoint me again as the liaison to the Planning Commission. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay, next is the liaison to the Zoning Hearing Board. Last year, this was Jim. Make a motion to reappoint Jim. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay, next is the liaison for the police department. Last year, this was me. I'll make a motion to reappoint. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay, next is for the liaison for the township building and playground. Last year, this was Jim. Jim, you want to continue doing that? Sure. Okay, make a motion to appoint Jim Brooks as the liaison for the township building and playground. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay, next is to appoint the per capita tax collection. Um, collector, excuse me. Uh, last year, this was Eileen Height. Make a motion to appoint Eileen Height as the tax collector for per capita taxes in 2023. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay, next is the appointment of the delinquent per capita tax collection. Last year, this was Element Statewide Tax Recovery, LLC. I'll make a, a motion to reappoint um, Element Statewide Tax Recovery, LLC. Second. <clears throat> Excuse me. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay, next is to appoint the Chief Administrative Officer for Marion Township's pension plan. Last year, this was Irene. Uh, we need to endorse this through resolution 2023-1. Uh, I will make a motion to appoint Irene Seleski as the Chief Administrative Officer for Marion Township's Pension Plan uh, for 2021 through resolution 2023-1. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay. Next is to set the employee pay rates. Please note that this is not the pay rate for supervisors or anybody that is sitting on this board. Um, the pay rate for the secretary was set at $22 per hour last year, assistant secretary 17, treasurer 20, roadmaster 21, road crew workers 20. Uh, the elected auditors will be setting the rate uh, for road crew, treasurer, et cetera, for anybody who is a supervisor. And that's tomorrow night during their reorganizational meeting. Um, do we want to make any adjustments? I know, Sue, you had mentioned previously that in lieu of additional pay, you were more interested in potentially having some additional pay, like days off. Yes. Um, jog my memory. How many paid days off did we give you last year? Confusing. Okay. So, all in my mind, all the, the paid time off, not holidays, mind you, but any of the paid days that we give you where you say, like, I'm sick or I can't come into the office or whatever. So I believe that was five. The way I read it, it was five. Okay. So we'll double check it and we can always amend this later if needed. Um, but if you had five last year, I'd like to, um, well, let's do the well, we'll do that, that later, but let's, yeah. let's, I wanted, wanted to just kind okay. of workshop this is I'm, I'm thinking we give you seven. We keep, keep it at 22 for the purposes of this motion for your hourly pay and give you an extra two days of time off throughout the year. Sure. Okay. You guys on board with that? I'd give her attendees. Okay. okay. I mean, we can yeah. talk about that more yeah. too, but yeah. I want to make sure that before yeah. we kind I mean, of set the... Honestly, for all the time that she spends in here and yeah. doesn't yeah. put it on her, her pay, I, 10 days. Yeah, I mean, there's, I yeah. think there's 10 or 11 yeah. holidays. Yeah. Yeah. And like I said, um, that, we're not and, including and, holidays. I mean, holidays I know, are giving. But not saying saying anything. Yeah. Time yeah. yeah. Holidays are giving, though. When you're talking flu, you should be out for a week. Oh, yeah. 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 When you're talking COVID, you should be out for a week. So, unfortunately, yeah, those items... Yeah, those those things are with us. Yeah. It, it, to me, to me, it's, it's not a matter of deserve. It's a matter of this is the reality of, of what we're living in now with a, a pandemic still in place. If you're going to be out, you're going to be sick, and it's going to be a, a seven to ten day recovery period. Yeah. Especially when you have a public facing job, you don't want to have yeah. somebody coming in and yeah. spreading it to everybody that comes yeah. in for a permit. Yeah, I, um, I would do ten. Okay, so well, that's one of the the yeah. items later on. But let's okay. if we're all on board with that. Yeah. Um. So we're we're comfortable with twenty two per hour for the secretary. We want Absolutely. to keep the assistant secretary seventeen. Um. 
you never bill for your time, no. but um, anybody like Dan, Dan that comes in, yeah. I think 20 is still acceptable for that. Yes. Roadmaster 21, road crew being 20, I think that's still okay. Um, depending on what inflation looks like over this year, we'll probably want to look at next year mm -hmm. doing a wage adjustment based on what whatever market rate is. Yes. But um, I think we're okay for now. Um, so I'll make a motion to set the employee. You don't want to, you don't want to raise Linda. She just, she, started, she just started. started. Just started. Do we have something on the books about ninety days or something? No. No, but I mean that's seventeen, and like I said, we can technically we can adjust pay. You can adjust the pay anytime. anytime. It doesn't have yeah. To be okay. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, it's, all right. I'm fine. yeah. Okay. So I'll make a motion to set the employee pay rates for 2023 at the following rates. Secretary, $22 per hour. Assistant secretary, 17 per hour. Treasurer, 20 per hour. Roadmaster, 21 per hour. Road crew workers, 20 per hour. What was road crew last year? 20. 20. And it had been previously, I think like 18. Yeah. And we had raised it to 20 in, in 2022. Okay. Second. Roll call Peter. Hi. Irene. Hi. Jim. Hi. Okay. Next is to set the snow emergency contractors pay rate in 2022. And, and in prior years, we hired farmers at a rate of $18 per hour on payroll and then rented their equipment at $57 per hour. Um, we were approached um, by some of the farmers about raising this up because of the, the cost of fuel being as high as it is, um, that they were looking to get um, an increase up to a total between the $18 per hour uh, rate on the payroll, which I think would actually technically be, if we're going to hire them, we should do 20 so that it matches the road crew. Um, and then whatever the difference would be to be a total of $100 per hour. Um, I know between let's say this time last year and now cost of diesel has more or less doubled yeah. give or take a little bit so, so we're talking twenty dollars an hour for pay over eighty dollars for running yeah yeah. yeah and that I, makes sense. it's yeah I, I personally don't have an objection to it because we don't utilize them that heavily that it's a, yeah. a huge line item on the budget um and it is a, a very nice thing that they're willing to do so that we don't have to rent ex equipment externally um, and, and let me just comment too that some farmers do not turn in a bill yeah which is very they nice do and it, yeah. I, don't think it heart. I don't know if any of them are going to watch this youtube well, this <laughs> video or not but i we, I we all do appreciate that so if everybody seems to be of like mind on that i'll make a motion to set the snow emergency contractors pay rate at 20 dollars per hour on payroll with $80 uh, towards rented equipment per hour, totaling $100 per hour. Second. Roll we'll call Peter. Hi. Irene. Hi. Jim. Hi. Okay. So this is, the next item is more of a um, suggestion to the auditors more than anything else. Yeah. It's the, the Board of Supervisors meeting pay rate and road work rate. In 2022, we had motions to suggest the pay rate of $60 per member per meeting to be paid quarterly on the first pay following the end of the excuse me, following the end of the quarter, and $20 for road work. The elected auditors are then going to have to review this and then set accordingly. Um, I don't see a need to change this. None of us ever submit for hours anyway, so it's kind of a moot point. Um, so I'll make a motion to set or suggest to the auditors to set the supervisor meeting rate of $60 per member per meeting to be paid quarterly on the first day following the end of the quarter and $20 for road work. Second. We'll call Peter. Hi. Irene. Hi. Jim. Hi. Okay. Next is the uh, uh, establishment of hourly rates for the equipment if we were to rent to other municipalities. Um, I'm going to rattle off a long list of things, and then <laughs> unless anybody has any objections, Sue, just a preemptive heads up to you, I'm just going to motion to redo it. Um, so the cost per hour to rent the grader was set at $50 per hour. John Deere tractor and loader, the 301 with or without attachments was $50 an hour. The John Deere tractor and loader 210C was $50 per hour. The John Deere backhoe 310SL was $150 per hour. The international truck was 50 per hour. The international truck and snowplow was 75 per hour. The John Deere tractor 6230 with or without attachments was $100 per hour. The greater and V plow was $70 per hour. 
the Ford F-550 dump truck was $50 per hour. The Ford F-550 truck and snowplow was $75 per hour. And the truck and spreader was $70, $75 per hour. Stone was would be an extra charge. You so. said the greater and depot was 70. I'll have 70. Oh, did I say 70? No, oh, geez, I'm sorry. It's 75. 75. So, yeah, to, to clarify that, I, I misread that. That was greater than V plow, $75. Hmm. Does anybody ever rent anything? We never rent no. our equipment. No. no, but no. we need to have this on the books in right case now. somebody like Tulpa Hawk and said, hey, we need to borrow your and, truck. And we don't, yeah. like, if we rent our equipment, our employees operate it. We don't let just yeah. anybody operate it. Yeah. I guess my, my question here is um, so we're providing this equipment gassed up. So it's, a, it's the same situation. Gas has gone up, and now let's say they're renting our equipment. They're not paying for the gas for it, and, and either are they. Well, it doesn't say with right. that. Well, gas. So, right. so with that said, if we're if we're doing this purely by the numbers, we, right. we would only be renting out to other municipalities. Right. It's not like right. I could call, it, right. call up the town right. and say, hey, I need to rent right. Butch right. in the, the 310C yeah. for, right. for right. a right. day. Um, this this would effectively cover any gas or wear and tear that we have minimally on there. And then, like, for example, right. Butch's time. So it would be $21 per hour plus whatever else towards right. the, for example, the, I'll use the 310 right. cell. That's 150 per hour. Right. So and I guess my question is, is, do we know what numbers look like from other municipalities? I can tell you. Yeah. Yeah. Never yeah. It's, it's, no, it's, something's going to happen. And I yeah. think it's just, yeah. you know, it's there. Of, it's, there it's, it's just, like it's a just housekeeping. That we have to yeah. do. Housekeeping. Yeah. I think it's mostly a base covering thing. And, and I just, think you can actually nothing. say, no, we're not running it to you too. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's, yeah. I mean, just because it's here doesn't mean we have to. Okay. And like I said, the other thing, just dollars and cents, I think every single one of those things would cover the cost of okay. what would actually be going okay. into. Like even the, the $50 things with the trucks. Right. We're not going to burn like $29 in gas right. in an hour. Chances are. Right. Like you, you, you could if you really tried, but. Yeah. Um, I, I just was curious, you know, like have, having looked at all those other numbers that yeah. we need to revise. So I'm good. Okay. Yeah. Like, yeah, Butch. We would have to motion at the meeting to add it to that that itinerary. Yeah, for example, like the mower boom. When we have that, we would have to just make that one of the agenda okay. items. Yeah. Oh, no, you're, no, thank you're you. good. You're thank good. Thank you, you for well, bringing this, that up. This, I mean, this is John Deere Tractor 6230 with or without attachments. Isn't that the. I think that meeting? doesn't actually count as an attachment. Oh. Um, that goes on the back, right? Oh, it goes on the side. I think that's technically an accessory rather than an attachment. Like they're not to, not to semantics. split hairs. There will be I semantic mean, driven about this, yeah. but there is there is a difference. We can no, always no, change yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, and we can okay. we can fiddle with that. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm I'm okay with that as is. Um, I'll make a motion to set the hourly rates as uh, was in effect during 2022. Same as last year. Same as last or, uh, year. Same as listed. Same as listed. I'll list them. Okay. Second. Roll call. Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. <clears throat> Okay, next is the municipal building and pavilion rental rates. The 2022 rates were the AA group, $15 per day or uh, 30 per week, and that twice a month. Um, Which we didn't. Except yeah. that they didn't. Yeah. Um, and then we had the Marion Grange who didn't meet last yeah. year, but had met previously. They got a special rate of $15 per day. Regular room rental was $50 per day. And then the pavilion was $25 per day. Um, so, we can't rent out the room. We can't rent out. Well, I mean, we, for bathroom. example, AA or Grange could meet in here if they really correct, wanted to. Correct. So, um, do we, we can put it on the books as you can still rent a room. And I kind of, <laughs> I kind of like to still set us a, a special. It's, it's such a weird it's thing to say. So I know. Sad. Grange is meeting so, somewhere else. I'm meeting somewhere yeah. else. But oh my God. If, Sorry. if they decided that they needed a place, even temporarily, um, <laughs> I would like to motion to set the following rates, the AA group, should they desire um, to rent the room at $15 per day or $30 per week, meeting twice a week. Marion Grange at $15 per day. 
regular room rental at $50 per day and pavilion at $25 per day. Awesome. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. I actually want to check something. Do we have the blueprints for, or the, the, the uh, suggested um, drawing from uh, Chuck? Did he leave that with us? For which thing? For the building. building? Um, I don't think so, actually. Yeah, I have the big paper. Okay, okay so he did leave it with you? Mm -hmm. Okay. And he sent us a PDF. Too. Okay. I didn't see the PDF come through my email. Yeah, it's somewhere. It's yeah, somewhere. Okay. It. Yeah. It's somewhere. Okay. Try. That might be worth hanging I, out. I have some changes. Yeah. 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 We, we, we no, I, well. I mean, that's, <laughs> right. it's, it's a preliminary, of right. course. Um, okay, next item is to set the mileage rate. Last year and so far this year, the IRS has not changed its rate. They have. They actually did. Oh, I this just, is correct. Sorry, I didn't change the year. They just I changed just, it. In July. They, they just changed it um, like July. Thursday or Friday. Oh, okay. This I, is the correct rate. Sorry. I, oh, I, I, okay. I was going to say, because I literally just Googled it and it said 65.5. No, it was, he says, put it out there. And okay. uh, I, I don't know if it's on the website, but it's, it was 62.5. 62.5. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I will make a motion to set the <laughs> mileage rate per IRS recommendation of 65.5 cents per mile. Yeah. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene, Hi. Jim, Hi. I just read somewhere that you can't make it higher. Interesting. You can't make it higher than IRS recommendations. Okay. Okay. See, it always kills me with like the 0. 0.5 because like I just want to round it up. I, I, yeah. Like, well, we get we get like five submissions a whole year. Yeah. yeah. Still. Uh, next is the PSATS convention 2023. We need to nominate a voting delegate for Marion Township. Last year, this was Sue Stabi. Uh, I'll make a motion to set Stu uh, again as the voting delegate. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay. Next is the Berks <laughs> County Convention 2023. In 2022, we have made a motion to authorize the attendance uh, and hourly compensation and mileage for Board of Supervisors, Secretary, Treasurer, and to authorize the attendance and $50 compensation along with mileage to any of the elected auditors and the tax collector. Um, I'll make a motion to... Uh, make that same <laughs> motion again uh, in terms of as a listing for authorization and reimbursement. Second. No call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay. Next is the treasurer and assistant treasurer's bond amount. Uh, last year, as many of the years preceding, it was $900,000 worth of bond. Uh, per our insurance representative, each person handling money should be bonded. Uh, so I'll make a motion to uh, bond the treasurer and assistant treasurer for an amount of $900,000 each. Thank you. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. And for clarity, for anybody that does not know how that works, we are not spending nine hundred thousand no. dollars each on them. Uh, it's it's like, uh, it's, it's, like, a, it's, like something. Something. Yeah. it's 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 insurance that if there was yeah. any uh, errors or malfeasance or anything like that, that the, the township would be. There's no protected. errors. Yeah, I know there's no errors, but I'm just saying that's <laughs> it's that's, that's, to the penny. that's that's why there's we have no it. Though. It's 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 a yeah. safety net. It's not actually. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, next, and this is the one that usually. We have to yeah. kind of mince about for a bit, but I think we're actually, from looking at the calendar, it's pretty straightforward. Um, set the Board of Supervisors meeting dates. Um, so I, I always put that in. You don't have to read it yeah. what you, but you can if you want to. No, so the basic gist of it is, and I think if everybody wants to follow along at home, um, the meetings for January should be set for the workshop meeting on the 21st, meeting the actual Board of Supervisors meeting on the 26th, for February, it would be the 18th and the 23rd, respectively. For March, the 25th and the 30th. Okay. For April, the 22nd and the 27th. For May, the uh, 20th and 25th. For June, 24th and 29th. I feel like saying bingo. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You, you've sunk my battleship. Uh, July, 22nd and 27th. August 19th and 24th, September 23rd and 28th, October 21st and 26th, November 
the 11th and the 16th, December the 16th and the 21st. Well, you could technically make it the 23rd and the 20th. Yeah, right. Do, do we so. want to have that on the 23rd, though, the workshop no. meeting, and then like meet on the 28th? No. What's up to you? I mean, I, oh, it's, uh, I'm open to suggestions, but I'd, I'd rather move it up. Okay. It gives us a little time between the next organization. Say again? Oh, yeah, absolutely. And, and Kelly, once I'm done motioning, I'll actually, I can just give you this. Yeah. No, oh, November and December. November is the uh, 11th and 16th, and then the 16th and 21st. So do you also want to say in your motion the last Thursday of the month, except yeah. November, so, and December, November and December, and the workshop meeting, Yeah. always the Saturday before the board meeting? Yeah. So I'll make a motion to set the Board of Supervisors meetings and workshop meetings as the last Thursday of the month and the preceding Saturday, with the exception of November and December, of which times the workshop meeting would be held on November the 11th, the Board of Supervisors meeting on November the 16th, the workshop meeting for December on December 16th, and the Board of Supervisors meeting on December the 21st. Got it. It is actually. Do we thank you? Thank you for pointing that out, Kelly. Do we want to keep that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that actually, the motion still stands. The way it's worded is fine. But uh, thank you. So if you word it the last Thursday, then it's yeah, it would change. It, it would, no, 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 no. It would actually because I I thought the twenty fourth was the last Thursday. I completely spaced out but on the leaving it as the nineteenth and the twenty fourth. No, we want to do the twenty sixth and the thirty first. Then. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, okay. Yeah, and like I said, motion as worded still works. So. I'll just say the last Thursday. The last month, Thursday of the month, before. with the exception of November and December. Yep, got it. Is there a second? Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay, next is to set the Planning Commission meeting dates. Uh, we made a motion last year to set the Planning Commission meetings as the third Tuesday of each month at 7.30 p.m. Um, as do needed. I, as needed, do I, in the previous motion, do I need to set the time to like 7 p.m.? Yes. Okay. I'll, 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 I'd like to motion to amend the previous motion to include 7 p.m. What about 7. 9 a.m.? And, and thank you, actually, Irene. Okay. 9 a.m. for the workshop as well. Second. Okay. Jim, second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay, planning commission meeting. Uh, third Tuesday of each month at 7.30 p.m. as needed. Um, I'll make a motion to set this similarly for 2023. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay. Last item on the agenda is to set the holiday schedule and paid time off for the assistant secretary, or the, <laughs> excuse me, part-time secretary, not assistant. Um, the holidays that we have off, I went through and I highlighted a couple of these. Um, I think we should observe uh, Martin Luther King Day, so that's January 16th. Uh, President's Day, which is February 20th. March 17th, which is St. Patrick's Day. Wait, President's Day, what's the date? Uh, 20th, February 20th. We forgot New Year's Day. What was Martin Luther King? Well, that's yeah, yeah. well because we have we, we do it at a reorg. So know. no, so we do it at a reorg. Today's yeah. the first day of our year, so we set next New Year's. Okay. Okay. So we have Martin Luther King President's Day. What's Martin Luther King Day? January the sixteenth. So yeah, on the right side, you see okay. where it's all the. Oh. Yeah, makes it easier. I know. Okay, uh, I believe we're up to St. Patrick's Day, March 17th. Um, you want to give us off for St. Patrick's Day? Yeah, why not? I don't need St. Patrick's Day. Uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, this if is, you want to give it. That's, but, that's fine. I'll scratch it. Um, I don't think that's a federal holiday. It's not. So. Um, okay, April. Uh, nothing in April. Good Friday. Yeah. Actually, Easter is April. On the ninth, we that's want to observe. That's on a Sunday. Do you want yeah. to? Do we do any observation? Mm -hmm. 
So I think I take off the Friday. I'm trying to remember if the if, is the Fed closed on the tenth. Yes. So I would say if the Fed is closed, then right. so April tenth. Um, because I'm I'm almost positive I get off that day because it being a federal holiday technically. Um. Uh, the next one, broke my stride here for a second, is uh, May the 29th, Memorial Day, June 19th for Juneteenth, which is a federally observed holiday now, July 4th, which is Independence Day, uh, nothing in August, uh, September the 4th for Labor Day. No, wait. Wait, Independence Day, September 4th, Labor Day. Okay. Go yep, ahead. you caught up. Yep. Uh, October 9th for Columbus Day, and then the twenty third of November for Thanksgiving, and then Christmas Day, December twenty fifth, and um, New Year's Eve is on a Sunday, and then January first being New Year's Day, uh, the following Monday. All right. Good with those dates. I think I got them all. Okay. I can hear you. No. I didn't, I didn't chicken scratch them. No, that's okay. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll take a picture of my cheat sheet calendar that I'm messing with, but everybody's on board with observing Absolutely. those holidays. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm sure I missed some. Because we added one, June. One, two, two three, one. four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, oh, 10, 10, 10, 11, 12, if you count January 1st. <laughs> okay, then I missed one. What are uh, no, no, so I've got President's Day, January, February, Easter, March, March Memorial April, Day, June, June Tate, July, Independence Day, March, Labor Day, Columbus Day, October, I think. March 17th, St. Patrick's Day. No, actually, I. I, I um, I counted Halloween for some reason. <laughs> so yeah, it is it is 10, 11 if you count January 1st. Okay, got it. The other thing I can do. Okay. Hold on. Let me make sure we didn't miss any. I'm just gonna look up 2023 federal holidays. Federal holidays in 2023 are New Year's Day, Memorial Day, Columbus Day, Martin Luther King Day, Juneteenth, Veterans Day, um, Independence Day, Thanksgiving, Good Friday, which is interesting, uh, Labor Day, and Christmas. So I think we're I think we're in good shape. I think we have. Yeah. I mean, the only one you don't have is Veterans Day, and it's. Um, actually, what is when is Veterans Day? Well, okay, so then that, that's an issue for me because I have a short time between the October meeting and the November meeting. Yeah. Uh, November the 11th is on Saturday, though, so... Yeah. Um, yeah. That's okay with me. Yeah, okay. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm okay with this if everybody's okay with this. Yeah. Um, okay, do I need to rattle everything off again? No, or Okay, so it. I'll make a motion to set the federal holidays as discussed. Second. Irene, roll call Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay, so next. You're, so you're going to pay us for those holidays yes. and you're going to pay us days off? Yes. How many days off does Linda get? Same? That we would need to set. I would say five. Because she's part... agenda. Um, I guess I can. Here. Probably. We're going to be really on, on the ball about that. So I'll make a motion to amend the agenda to include setting paid time off days for the assistant uh, secretary. How many days? Well, right. we're just have we have to amend yeah. the agenda to include it, and then we have to set it. It's one of those two step sort of. So Peter bears. made a motion to amend the agenda. Is there a second? Second. Irene second. I call Peter. I. Irene. I. Jim. Aye. Okay. Now. 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 Okay. So, 
as discussed earlier, we should uh, uh, set 10 days of time for the secretary. And since Linda is essentially more, even more part-time than, than Sue is, um, five days throughout the course of the year for sick, personal leave, any, any other things that may come up throughout the course of the calendar year. Um, we have similar for the treasurer, not that Irene ever uses it, but if we, ha if we did have somebody that was in here um, as, in a paid capacity doing the treasurer work, they have five days of, um, or five uh, working days worth of time off that they could use in the event of uh, like a vacation or um, an illness. So I'll make a motion to set the paid time off days as followed. Uh, 10 days for the uh, part-time secretary, five days for the assistant part-time secretary, and five days for the treasurer. Second. Wait. And five days for treasurer. Jim, second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay. Okay, that is the final item on the agenda. I'll make a motion to adjourn the meeting. The time is now 7.47 p.m. Is there a second? Second. Irene, second. We'll call Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay, Most, take care. Motion. Um, motion.